find it interesting that as we get older, people seem to feel emboldened at telling us what we should not do. Like we haven't been on the planet for 50 plus years, or however many years you've been on the planet. You know, by now, we know what we like and we know what we don't like. For instance, everyone loves to say, you have gray hair, you can't grow it long. Why not? Now, I have never been able to grow my hair long. I don't have good hair. And I thought that when I went silver that my hair was gonna miraculously change and become good hair, but it did not. I have baby fine hair. And now as I'm getting older, I'm starting to see my hair getting thinner and thinner. So a few months ago, I decided to get extensions. Great, instant long hair. Except it didn't work out like that. What happens with silver hair is you have to get hair that has been bleached and then dyed silver. So you can't match the pure white tones that we have on top if we have pure white tones. If you've got a dark silvery silver, it's a little easier, but you really cannot match a natural silver tone. So when I got my extensions, I realized that I suddenly had white hair and then gray hair and it was not going to look right until my white hair grew out longer and covered the extension hair. I'm always gonna need to have extensions for thickness if I wanna have long hair. But couldn't I make my hair a little bit better? I began looking into how I could make my fine wimpy hair be the healthiest it could be and prevent any additional hair loss as I'm getting older. I started using Kara Health about three months ago. I have been taking their supplements, which has really, really helped with my hair growth and getting it to this length. Like before, I mean, you can see, this is, no, it's now hard to tell which is mine and which is this, this is my hair. This is the extension hair. But because I have been taking these Kara Health vitamins for so long, for three months, it has really helped my hair grow out and blend in with my extensions. Now, I've tried a lot of hair vitamins in the past, but those hair vitamins have always made me break out. I don't know what it is about them. They have a lot of great ingredients, I'm sure, but they seem to make my skin break out in pimples. So I was very hesitant, but I looked at the ingredients on in Kara Health, and they're mostly antioxidants. And by having a lot of antioxidants, that's really helped my hair grow, but it's also kept my skin from breaking out. And it's made my fingernails a little bit stronger, I think. And it's not just biotin. It's got all sorts of basic vitamins that of course you need anyway. It's got niacin, it's got vitamin B6, and of course it does have biotin. But it also has maritime pine bark extract. And I remember taking pine bark extract when I was working with a nutritionist many years ago. And that is something that was strongly recommended to help detoxify the body and promote skin health and hair growth. And it's got something in it called superoxide dismutase. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but I've researched it that, and that is a powerful antioxidant that is derived from melons that are grown in the south of France. Now, the Kara Health system is a two-part system. It's not just about the vitamins. It's also taking care of scalp health and hair health. I have this, okay, confession time. I have a stress thing where I get little bumps on the top of my head and then I pick at them and then they don't go away because I pick at them. But then I've got stress and they keep coming back. It's just an ongoing nasty circle. And the very, very first time that I used 
Kara Health shampoo and conditioner instantly cleared up those little stress bumps that I get on my scalp. Now I think that's a lot to do with, where is it, hang on. So I think that washing with the Kara Health shampoo, using the scalp stimulator, and then also using the scalp, but also using the scalp stimulator with the conditioner really made a difference in clearing up those little stress bumps on my scalp and giving me just generally a healthier scalp. I can see new growth coming in on the top of my hair. These little fuzzies that I have up here, that's not breakage, that's new growth coming in. And I'm super excited about that because I've always wanted to have long Barbie doll hair and it's just never really been possible. And I think that now with Kara Health and extensions, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I think that the Kara Health and the extensions are gonna give me the glorious Barbie doll hair of my dreams. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Kara Health. And if you're experiencing thinning hair, you might wanna try Kara Health for yourself. They also have a program that is geared towards men. So if you have a sweetheart in your life that you might want to assist with hair loss, might look into Kara Health for men as well. And I have a discount code for you. I will also drop this down below in the description box so you don't have to memorize it. But if you go to karahealth.com, drop in the code Monique, 10 and that'll give you a 10% discount so you can try Kara Health for yourself. Now let me show you how I did my makeup today. I'm a little out of practice in makeup. I have not been wearing makeup much at all lately. So I'm having to teach myself how to put it on again. Let's get to playing, shall we? Well, I think I told you a while ago that NARS sent me a bunch of fun stuff. They sent me some concealer and some foundation. I haven't been wearing foundation a whole lot lately, so I haven't really played with it a lot. It's really great because it seems to stay well when you have to wear a mask, but I just, LA's got a lot of COVID right now and I just barely leave the house, but let's, let's play. I probably shouldn't be doing makeup on my new sofa, but I don't have my makeup area set up yet, so I'm doing makeup on my new sofa. Isn't my sofa amazing? Yay! Okay, let's get to it. Concealer, little concealer brush. You don't have to use a brush. I like a brush because I'm really trying to get into certain areas, like, like really getting into this area and this area. And I find that you need a fine brush to really do it, even though I'll use a thicker brush to blend it. I'm going to blend that using my Soft Blend Concealer Brush. This is NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation and it is much thicker than what I've been used to because I have not been wearing foundation for pretty much months. Uh, I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush because that's how I usually apply foundation, but I think this might be better with a blender sponge, but I'm not used to using that, so I'm just gonna do it with a brush. And I'm gonna try to do this as sheer as I possibly can. This is medium number two. They have quite a range of colors and they sent them to me and selected the colors for me. So I think this might be a touch pale. 
because I'm a gardener now and I always get a little more sun than I really want even though I wear all the sunscreen. So I'm using the same soft blend concealer brush to apply. I like a small brush because I like to be able to apply my foundation in small areas at a time and I feel like I get a sheerer foundation. actually a really, really good color match. That is not bad at all. I don't know why I was thinking it was too light. I guess it just looks so light in the tube. Or maybe I was just too heavy handed with it the first few times I put it on. No, it seems, look at that, that's, that's really a nice match. on foundation is so boring, isn't it? I'm gonna add a small amount of powder. I'm using the black opal powder. This is a pressed powder that is used a lot on professional sets because it's a terrific shade. It just goes with all skin tones. So it works on pretty much everybody. Usually I apply with a puff, but today for no reason at all, I'm gonna put it on with a brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of lipstick on because I hate looking at myself when I don't have lipstick on. That's all. This was a wonderful gift that I got. It's from NARS and, whoop, that's not from NARS. It's a four pack of different lipsticks and they're really sheer and this one has been my favorite. A whole package is called Undress Code and it has four shades and they are just delightful because they are ew, spilling all over my lap. Stop that, Monique. These shades and there's a big one and three small ones. The big one is a pink that is so light, it's almost not there. That's very nice, but it's not what I want today. Feels really good on my lips though. Let's put some liner on. I told you I was out of practice. Yeah, those glasses are horrible, aren't they? You know, when you buy things on the internet. I'm gonna use a little liner, and this is a nude tone by Milani. And I'm basically following the curve of my lips, but I'm going just outside of the lines, and here on the outer edge of the upper lip, you wanna keep it really rounded. You don't wanna have a sharp straight line. I do have a tendency to make like a V and a really hard point, and that's a, it, that can be a little aging and hard. So I'm trying to learn to do a rounder lip design as has been explained to me by numerous professional makeup artists.
And then just a little bit pinker lip, I think. We're gonna go with this other shade that has more of a rose tone to it. It's so fresh and feminine, I really like it. Now, let's get a bit of blush on, shall we? I have had my NARS Orgasm Laguna Duo for so long. You can see it's become quite thrashed and just about down. So I was very happy to get a new NARS Duo. Fresh and bright Orgasm and Laguna Duo. Yay! We're just going to take a little of the Laguna. This is an e.l.f. brush. It is more of a bronzer, but because I tend to be a little on the pale side, I almost end up using it as a contour. But just a little bit of a bronzer. And then a Sigma brush. I'm going to go in with the Orgasm. One of my favorite blushes. And you know, it is, it has really become a classic over the years. It's got that peach shimmer, that pink with that sort of gold shimmer. You can see it gives you that highlight. Just so pretty. Okay, let's get some eye makeups on. Yay! I watched a video by Wayne Goss. Actually, I watched a bunch of Wayne Goss videos because I like Wayne Goss a lot. And he was talking about doing a fox eye look. And I always, I've always kind of shied away from elongating my eyes because I have sort of almond shaped eyes. But now that that fox eye trend is popular, I've really embraced it. So let's do a bit of a fox eye. I'm gonna use my NARS Extreme Effects palette that they sent me. You can see it has a lot of beautiful colors that have not been touched because, so let's touch them, let's use them. Let's, let's put this palette to good use. This is a Sigma brush that I have loved all of the information off of but I got it as a kit and I will drop that information down below in the description box. The color I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this sort of mulberry color. Yes, I realize it doesn't go with my anything that I'm wearing, but that's what I'm gonna do. Don't ever do that on your sofa, Monique. I'm gonna have to get in here with a vacuum. Yikes, that was stupid. Ay. I'm going to take a tissue, as Wayne explained, and I'm gonna hold it at an angle, but not going right tight under the eye, leaving a space so that the color can go under the eye as well. Now we're gonna start out here. And we're gonna pull it out. Again, angle, keeping space under the eye.
I'm gonna tell you right now, for a proper fox eye look, I think I have to wait till I have my makeup area set up because this is too hard to do with it on my lap and looking down. So, yeah, never mind everything that I said. We're off to a good start, huh? I don't feel like those eyes match each other. They don't. This one has a much sharper line and this one's much softer. I don't know how to get this one sharper, so I'm just gonna soften this one. Bring that out and smudge it out a little bit. What else shall I put on? There's a nice mulberry tone, but I feel like I've got this strong purple on and that mulberry might be a little Mulberry. Let's go to my Colored Rain palette. This is Colored Rain Power. And I like it because it has a lot of very purpley purples. This is the Domed Utility Brush by Sigma. And I am just going to tap into this vibrant purple tone. I feel like it looks a little disco air on me, but I kind of like it. I'm just gonna soften the edge with some of this sort of like light caramel color. Just gonna Ooh. that was much prettier than I thought. shade. I like that a lot. Let's do something with these eyebrows. They are, my eyebrows are microbladed, but they have faded a lot. And my appointment to get them redone keeps getting pushed because of closures for COVID-19. So I have an appointment to get it done. Let's see if they actually get done. But until then, let's do some painting. This is my favorite brush uh, to do my eyebrows. It was from my friend Liz. She gave it to me and I think it's from Mary Kay but it's a super fine, sharp, you know, tiny, tiny little angled brush and I like it for my eyebrows. Since we're doing a more dramatic look, I am gonna do a dark brow. This is the Canyon Classics palette from Physician's Formula. I'm just gonna go in with this darker tone and the scary side of the mirror. I'm really liking that purple. Just that tiny, tiny bit. I tend to be a little heavy handed with purple most of the time. So when I'm subtle, it's always surprising and nice. Subtle is not usually where I go. Okay, more eyebrows. Speaking of not subtle.
For anyone who has questions about my shoulder, remember I had an injury with it, it is getting better. I've been doing the physical therapy, I've been doing the exercises, and it's really, really getting a lot more mobility back. Plus, I purchased an ultrasound machine, and I have been doing an ultrasound treatment every night, and I think that is helping a great deal. I will give you information on that after I've used it for a considerable amount of time, if I think it's worth you know, telling you about, but that's where I'm at right now. This is just a basic eyeliner. I use it all the time. It is Sephora Black Lace. I like it because it's nice and soft, which is great for tight lining. I do tend to enjoy tight lining my eyes a lot. I haven't been doing a lot of liquid eyeliner lately, so pray for me. I'm way out of practice on that. The mascara that I'm going with is also NARS, and that is this is their Climax Extreme. While we are waiting for that, let's do a little highlight. This is my Urban Decay in Sin, Afterglow in Sin. And I like highlight in sort of a C shape, just right on the top of the cheekbone, but before we get in too close to the wrinkles. Now, I find that the Climax Extreme Mascara is a little heavy for under my eyes. So under my eyes, I'm gonna use a different NARS mascara. It's their Climax. It's a little lighter, a little more natural looking, but really enjoying both of these mascaras a great deal. Now, I haven't played with it very much but I do have some magnetic liquid liner that I'm going to try using with some of my eh, Ardell Magnetic Accents Lash. Now, most of the magnetic lashes that I've tried are really big, and when I trim them to fit my eye, then the magnet part is cut off. 
but these are nice because they're just meant to be a an accent just just for part of your lash and it has an upper and a lower so that you clip them together but i find that too heavy so i just use the upper part i guess i could just use the lower part but i haven't gotten to that yet but there you have it and this is kiss magnetic eyeliner but this is i will say this is only i think the second time i've used it so i'm not again not proficient I think makeup, like anything, needs practice, practice, practice. Because when you haven't done it for a while, you get out of practice. So clearly, I need to get back into putting on makeup, don't I? But I'm just about ready with my studio being set up. And I just got a chair to sit in. And now I need a big mirror to put up on the wall. And then I'm ready to be like making makeup videos full time and well I better do a little brushing up huh <laughs> do I need more blush I feel like I need more blush oh yeah and honestly with the orgasm you don't really need to use a separate highlighter. There's plenty of golden sheen there. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Kara Health. I will have all that information down below for you in the description box so that you can try out Kara Health for yourself.